Horns up guys and welcome to another Headbangers Kitchen Keto Vlog. Now before we get into the vlog, let's talk about the Keto Contest HK Vegan Keto where you had to upload a photograph of a vegan dish and tag Headbangers Kitchen and hashtag HK Vegan Keto and I would pick the winning uh, dish and you know you would get a Headbangers Kitchen t-shirt. Thank you all so much for taking part. I am overwhelmed by the response and also I've come to the realization that I am a terrible judge in general. I mean, you know, there were some that were obviously like super, but when it came down to the nitty gritties, it was very difficult for me to pick just one winner. So, well, there are three winners <laughs> because they were so good. I had to pick three. And everyone who took part, I really, really appreciate you taking part. I loved all your creations. I'm so happy now that whoever's doing vegan keto or whoever wants a meat-free meal can ha check the hashtag HKVeganKeto and get a huge amount of recipes there. So thank you all for creating that database. Now, who are the three winners? Well, there are three of them, obviously, just like I said. And their names are The Wholesome Holistic some amazing photographs some amazing dishes i had so much trouble just picking one dish that was the winner i think all of them were like fantastic ketone vegan another winner great photographs amazing recipes good stuff and the third and final winner is plant powered keto again great pictures great recipes superb ideas in fact i think you're all professional vegans are you not and professional photographers as well great stuff all around thank you all for taking part you will get i will get in touch with the winner soon and send you your merchandise and anyway let's talk about the most important thing now the week that was vegan keto week for me now a quick question did any of you do the whole week of vegan keto with me if you did let me know in the comments let me know how your week turned out i'm here to tell you about mine so the very basic thing is when i started on monday I was 71.2 kilos yep and uh, I was not in ketosis I just finished a week of eating carbs like a maniac and as of Monday morning that's today a week from the earlier Monday I am now 68.9 kilos I think oh what did no no I was 68.6 kilos which means I lost two and a half kilos in the week of being a vegan and doing keto and as of Monday morning I am also in ketosis according to those urine strips so that is a pretty good week for me and just as a way to break the stall in your week in your diet in your keto diet like if you are stuck at a particular weight I think this is a fantastic and a great way to lose weight and to break past your stall because unlike the egg fast you don't get sick by being on an overdose of like one ingredient like just egg and fat egg and fat egg and fat here you get to just play around and have so many delicious food items like you saw the recipes i put out the cauliflower makhani the vegan thai curry the uh, bhindi the okra the masala okra and what was the fourth one i can't remember now but it was delicious i remember that much uh, so yeah i mean there are so many great options you know for us to uh, sort of uh, have and just take a break and break through a stall so i definitely give the vegan keto full marks in comparison to the egg fast and definitely it is doable but let's talk a little bit more about the details now now i did a vlog halfway through the vegan keto and i kind of showed you guys what i was eating i was eating approximately 1000 calories a day i was about 20 to 30 grams of carbs in a day i was hitting my fat macros quite easily because olive oil just makes everything better but my protein was sufficiently at the halfway mark or even below that at times now what happened was i connected with you guys on the fourth day in the morning and after that i pretty much ate the same food so i had my zucchini pesto spaghetti i had the thai curry like multiple meals repeating the same thing cauliflower rice i made some incredible baba ganoush which i will make a recipe video for and share it soon I had the cauliflower makhani, I had the bindi and the uh, flatbread, I made a vegan pizza, all this stuff. So my macros were pretty consistent throughout the seven days, except that I did not finish being vegan. I have to confess because 
I just feel like it would be wrong if I didn't confess. I could easily lie, but I won't. So on both Thursday and Friday in the evening, my family ordered Chinese food and there was chicken fried rice. So I nibbled on some nice pieces of chicken and a few pieces of egg. So yeah, I wasn't vegan for a whole week, but I have to say that those few bites were not insufficient enough quantity to increase my macros in a large number because I would have had maybe 20 grams of chicken and maybe about 10 grams of egg because I was literally plucking it out of the bowl. Now, the thing with with when you cheat is, like I said, I, I, I think I didn't get out of ketosis in any way because I was eating protein. But on Saturday, oh boy, oh boy. This is like confessing some serious dark crimes. And if you can see the whole uh, frame has become dark because the sun is setting on my, you know, on my cheating uh, ways. <laughs> so I'm eating deceit and uh, things like that. Never, I'm just, just kidding. But yeah, on Saturday night, I ate two slices of pepperoni pizza. So I didn't just cheat on being vegan. I cheated on keto as well. However, because I've been doing some weight training in the morning as well as some HIIT alternate days, I don't think those two pizza slices affected me in any way. However, I do regret it deeply and I will not do it again. So effectively, if I got out of ketosis also, Monday morning, I'm back in because uh, like I said, I peed on the keto strip, all's good. And um, I guess the pizzas, they, these weren't like loaded American pizzas, they were like thin and crispy, like it was literally maybe 20 grams in weight per slice. So I probably didn't do too much damage with it, but I learned a lesson. I need to get my will control together. And I think I've mentioned this before, especially when you're closer to your goals, you tend to cheat more because you're not being as strict with yourself. Anyway, I've learned a lesson and I will be strict. So I think that pretty much covers my week of being a vegan on keto. I definitely think it's, I didn't really miss the meat. Like I said, it was the reason I cheated is because I was not prepared. I had not planned out every meal. I had not planned out my snacks. I had not planned out enough things. That's a little better now. So the reason I dunked into the fried rice is because I had not cooked my dinner. So I wanted to eat and it was not there so in my opinion if you want to do in this is with keto also yeah if there are carbs and you're on keto and you haven't prepped up you will end up gorging on those carbs because you're hungry and you don't want to cook a meal and if you don't have something quick and handy in your outside somewhere you you cheat that is why we cheat so the best advice is be prepared for all your meals as much as you can and your chances of you cheating on keto are far less and let me get to my final thoughts now. Let me collect my thoughts. So on a whole, vegan keto is completely doable. Now in terms of protein, which is the only thing that it seemed to lack, there seem to be things like pea protein powder, something called satin, which is made from wheat gluten, but it's low in carbs. And I guess if you live in America, there are vegan cheeses, mock meats, which have a decent amount of carbs, also hemp seeds and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I guess what I'm trying to say is if you want to be a vegan and be on keto, it's not impossible. Maybe depending on where you live, like if you live in India like me, it may be a little harder, but it's not impossible. I found out you get vegan cheese in India in certain. You just have to find where they are being made and sold. And, you know, Satan, the wheat meat, which is what they call it, seems to be easy to make at home. So I will even give that a try at some point in time, not because I want to be a vegan. But just because I think, yes, you can be a vegan on keto. Now, I wanted to avoid all moral and ethical discussions about being vegan and all that. But I just want to say one thing. I'm not a vegan. I'm probably never going to be a vegan. But we all do what is comfortable for us. And if anything, I want people to take away from veganism or the ideology or anything that's behind it is I just want everyone to sort of look at the food they eat more closely and see where it comes from and what goes into it and at the end of the day you make the choice that works for you you know at the as humans as humans when you're forced to do something you don't want to do it people try to badger you to do a certain thing it doesn't work so here's my thing 
the what I take away from being vegan for a week is I can definitely do with a couple of meals in a week without meat and the benefit of that for me personally by my analysis of my keto diet is that I tend to go over my protein on a daily basis by a fair amount like 20 grams easily so all I got to do is three times a week maybe substitute one meat meal with a vegan meal or a vegetarian meal which is got no protein in fact like you know the vegan pesto spaghetti spot on uh, the thai curry with the cauliflower rice spot on the baba ganoush which i made which you don't have a video to watch spot on those will work as great meals for me and i didn't miss the meat during those meals and i can have the next meal with meat so you know that's my interpretation of this and yep i think i've done enough jibber jabber now so i'm going to leave this here i guess if there are questions things to talk about you leave me the comments if there are any controversial comments i will try and not answer them so that i don't get into an argument with anyone online but i love you guys and i will be back with the meat recipes now so yep stay tuned for all the recipes uh, for all my vegan friends i hope you enjoyed the vegan week i will keep doing vegan dishes along the way and uh, hope you guys all whether you're vegan vegetarian or carnivore enjoy the channel and hope we can all learn to live in harmony in peace as brothers and sisters all right see you guys cheers and keep cooking and keep doing hi there i feel i may not have been articulate enough in that video but i kind of tried to say everything i wanted to say and if there's something that i didn't say i'm sorry and if it's something i said that offended you i don't care but anyway if you like the channel click here to subscribe click here to support us on patreon click here to listen to my music and click here to listen to well actually click here to watch the vegan week recipes cheers